Today, I stand with my sister Silence Breakers as we celebrate the conviction of our abuser, Harvey Weinstein. While it is disappointing that he was not found guilty on all counts, the truth is that this verdict is a triumph for survivors everywhere, for all of us Silence Breakers and for all of his survivors. The outcome is the result of the voices of over 100 women who refuse to be silenced anymore, of those who took a dangerous leap, putting their health, relationships, careers, and livelihoods at risk to tell the truth about Harvey Weinstein. The gratitude I feel for the women who took the stand in New York cannot be overstated. Their bravery shines like a beacon. But we know the laws must change to fully protect survivors moving forward. So, this verdict should serve as an example so that all survivors will be heard and believed and so that all predators will be served justice. And since we're talking about predators, let me say this. Harvey Weinstein is now and will forever be a convicted sexual predator. He is going to jail. And this is only the beginning. We will continue to fight. As we turn our efforts and attention to the looming criminal trial in Los Angeles, I have a message for Harvey. For all abusers, rape myth perpetuators, victim blamers, and those who have retaliated against us, this one's for you. Your time is up. The time for survivors to rise up and thrive has come. Uh, I stand here today because I'm supported by all these brave women who came forward, all the women who may not want to come forward, all of the journalists who broke the stories, all of the lawyers and organizations who continue to fight for justice of vict for victims every single day. Harvey Weinstein's conviction does give me a sense of peace. Justice was served and I'm so grateful for the civic duty displayed by these jurors. Now we can turn our attention to the upcoming trial here in LA. We have an opportunity to build on this momentum. This verdict is not everything, but it's significant in so many ways. And let me explain what I mean. In my mind, I am no longer trapped in a hotel room with Harvey Weinstein forever because I am here now with all these fierce women after his rape conviction, standing here reflecting on the irony that he will be the one who now feels the fear of being trapped. I'm not shaming myself anymore because the shame belongs with him. I'm not silent anymore because I'm doing what I can to ensure that he can't silence one more woman. I won't fear the backlash surrounding this anymore because I have turned it into purpose. I'm not accepting the system that he created from abuse of power, intimidation, because I, along with all of these women here, are too busy tearing it down. Speaking out collectively changed things, and this right here is the culmination of courage. This trial has become a symbol around the world, and we've seen the manifestation of some of the deepest issues in our culture. We can open our minds to the nature of trauma and victimhood. We can understand the nuances surrounding cases like this, and that is progress. My hope is that this verdict and these trials serve as the ultimate wake-up call, that our justice system and culture will reflect the safer world that we all deserve to live in. Today is truly a landmark moment for survivors of rape and sexual assault in that the public is seeing that men, even a man as powerful and famous as Weinstein, will be held accountable for their abuse of women. It is also a watershed moment, a historic leap for the Me Too movement that Toronto Burke began in 2006 and that took another step forward in October of 2017. When my sister survivors and I began to come forward with our stories of Weinstein's predatory behavior, now we know 
that if we dare to speak, there is a far greater chance we will be heard and our abusers will be punished. This seismic, seismic cultural change that began two and a half years ago has been brought to a legal conclusion to justice. Think about that. I, I want you to take this in. It is a historic shift that I never thought I would see in my lifetime. And as a woman and as an as a woman and as an actress in Hollywood. I speak to you today, we speak to you today in the capacity as women, women who work and I want to be clear that we're here to hold space for all women and children and men, for the brave women who have testified at this trial, who went through their own personal hell to bring us to this moment of justice. And the and for the more than 100 women who have spoken of their traumatic experiences with Weinstein to date. I also stand for those, for whatever reasons, have had to remain silent. And I know that speaking out about rape and sexual assault is difficult, if not impossible, for poor women, women of color, disabled women, and trans women like my sister Alexis. And I want to say to those women, change is coming. We are your sisters. Justice has prevailed today in this case, and I hope we will see more of it. Thank you.